Tesco, what's happening? Was Warren Buffett wrong on the stock? Well, yeah, Warren Buffett was wrong on the stock. He must have been. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I think he had a holding. I think his holding was about 5% at one stage. I, 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 I might be wrong on that. But that, that's, I think that was of that kind of order. And he's cut a, a, a significant amount. I think he's cut about two-fifths of that, so, so down to 3% or something. Now, you know, for him to cut at actually quite a late stage of the game as well, as I understand it. So, I mean, you know, he, he's already experienced... He, he, you know, suffered a large, a large part of that uh, of that fall, that fallout from uh, from, you know, the accounting scandal. Um, so, you know, I, I'm sure he he sort of hold his hands up and say, yeah, that wasn't one of my better ones. Do you think people were long a bit at GP four, GBB four, and and three thought they were buying into something safe? I mean, is it still a safe stock? Um. It's an, you know, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Um, I mean, I just sort of, as, as just sort of cast minds back a bit. Do you remember, you know, one of, one of the stocks that was always, always sort of in a portfolio and it was in a, your pension or whatever. I mean, you, you know, even if you weren't invested personally in the stock market, if you had a pension, you owned Lloyd's shares. You did. And the reason why you owned Lloyd's shares was because it was a high street bank and it paid a div a, a, an extraordinary dividend. You know, month, yeah, quarter in, quarter out dividend pay. I mean, you know, one of the best dividend play payers, uh, certainly in the FTSE 100, as I remember. And, and it paid that dividend, of course, until the day it didn't. And then, of course, you know, there was no real reason for owning the stock. And, you know, the rest is history. But Tesco, I guess, is... I bring up Lloyd's because Tesco, of course, is, you know, this big high street presence. It's been around for many years. It's come from very humble beginnings. It's been a very aggressive company. I mean, it's wound an awful lot of backs up of people out there, uh, you know, in terms of their acquisitions of sites and stuff. Um, but it's, it's been an, in, an incredible, uh, it has been an incredible success story. It has made inroads internationally, which other... Other, and so, I mean, okay, not all haven't always been successful, but it's made some. It has made some inroads internationally, which other um, UK um, retailers haven't been able to do and maintain. So it's impressive. So actually, you know, uh, but but nevertheless, yeah, it's it's sort of almost like well, you know, how are the mighty fallen? And and, and, and it's been sort of knocked off its perch, and it's been it's been a sort of a, an accounting scandal, which which has done it. You know, so it's been a it's been. It, and so you've got, you've got to look at Tesco now and say, well, it, you know, it, is the worst over? I mean, they've, a lot of people have been sacked. The numbers have now out, are now out. They've looked at the true number of, you know, how big was the accounting error. It's not a million miles from the, the, the initial estimate. I think it's 262 million as opposed to 250. The question now is there more stuff to come out about it. Well, I don't know. I mean, they might, they might have done the job of clearing the decks and... and, and, and you know, from, from it's onwards and upwards from here. I mean, we just don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I mean, you know, fundamentally, I mean, I, I suppose the sort of the, the actual reason for the, the accounting error is sort of not arc, not archaic, but it's a bit sort of it's a bit of an odd one. But really, at Tesco is a retailer that should be sort of buying in something quite cheaply and selling it with a markup elsewhere, uh, and, and that it should be a sort of a fairly straightforward business. And it's still got those. It's still got plenty of sites from which it can do it. So. You know, it, it, it should be able to get itself back on track, I'd think.